In the ancient village of Ein Karen, now a part of Jerusalem, Araya and Tal Shoni proudly showcased their recently renovated home. However, as they roll up a rug and open a wooden trapdoor, it becomes evident that this property holds more than meets the eye. Beneath the flooring lies an ancient secret, potentially linked to the Bible itself. The Shoni family, residents of Jerusalem, stumbled upon a historic secret beneath their living room floorboards as they worked on restoring their property in Ein Karem. This discovery, dating back thousands of years, could be a relic from the times of Christ. Lost and hidden under the foundations of one of Ein Karem's historic stone houses over the years, archaeologists and experts believe that Ein Karem may have significant biblical connections, particularly mentioned in the Book of Luke. While suspicions about its importance have lingered, the archaeological evidence has been elusive until now. The Shana's chance discovery opens a new chapter in Ein Karim's history, potentially altering our understanding of the Christian world. Ein Karim, situated within modern-day Jerusalem, has a rich history tracing back to the Iron Age. It has witnessed the passage of various civilizations, including the Crusaders and Romans. In the 6th century, Ein Kirim gained biblical importance as the rumored birthplace of John the Baptist and the meeting place of his mother with the woman who would give birth to Jesus Christ. Additionally, it became associated with the materials used in constructing the second Jewish temple in Jerusalem. While Ein Kirim is now a vibrant suburb known for its narrow streets, trendy restaurants, and art scene, its ancient secrets remain concealed beneath the surface. Recent archaeological endeavors in the region have unveiled remnants, such as an ancient street associated with Pontius Pilate and subterranean chambers near the site of Jerusalem's second Jewish temple. Understanding the complex history of Jerusalem, dating back over 5,000, 500 years, has been a challenge for archaeologists. The city, settled in the early Bronze Age, saw periods of triumph and turmoil, including the construction of Solomon's Temple, the Babylonian exile, Roman occupation, and subsequent Islamic control. Ein Karim's recent archaeological discoveries contribute to unraveling Jerusalem's intricate past. The Shoni family's findings may shed light on the biblical connections of this historic village, offering a unique perspective on the region's religious and cultural significance. As the future of Jerusalem remains uncertain due to ongoing conflicts, archaeological excavations continue to provide insights into the city's rich heritage. Ein Karim, with its layers of history waiting to be unearthed, adds another chapter to the fascinating narrative of Jerusalem's past. However, an unexpected turn of events occurred during the renovation process. While workers were demolishing the flooring, the jackhammer mysteriously vanished. Araya recounted, it just plunged downward. It appeared that the tool had breached a layer of limestone, revealing a cavernous space below. Upon closer inspection, an astonishing sight unfolded, a chamber containing a ritual bath dating back almost 2,000 years. Initially uncertain about how to address this hidden secret beneath their living room floor, the Shimshanis encountered the complexities of registering historic discoveries in Israel. Daunted by the anticipated challenges, they decided to conceal the chamber beneath a set of wooden trapdoors. For years, the family kept the discovery clandestine, placing a rug and chairs over the trapdoors. However, the intrigue persisted. Araya explained that the discovery gave us no rest, prompting the family to eventually notify the authorities. In 2015, the Shimshanis reached out to the Israel Antiquities Authority IAA, expressing their belief in the historical value of what lay beneath their house. The family's sense of civic duty motivated them to disclose the presence of something noteworthy without divulging the full extent of their find. IAA officials visited the Shimshana's home and Tal, rolling back the carpet and opening the trapdoors, unveiled the hidden discovery. Remarkably, it was a ritual bath, mikvah, carved into the bedrock beneath the property. Measuring about 11 feet long, 
eight feet wide, and almost six feet deep, the mikve was large enough to fully submerge an adult. Situated approximately ten feet below ground, it likely dates back to the first century AD and was probably constructed as part of a residence. What makes this bath particularly intriguing is its location in Ein Karim, the biblical district associated with John the Baptist's birth and his mother's encounter with the Virgin Mary. The Book of Luke describes Ein Karim as a town in the hill country of Judea. While scholars have attempted to identify this location, archaeological evidence supporting the connection have been lacking. The Shemchanist discovery provides a tangible link, shedding light on the existence of a Jewish community in Ein Karim during the Second Temple period. In addition to the mikveh, archaeologists have uncovered ancient walls, an olive press, and burial sites in the area. Now, thanks to the Shimshanis discovery, the argument gains strength. The events unfolded 2,000 years ago during the days of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. However, until now, there was no archaeological evidence supporting the notion of a Jewish community in Ein Kerem during that period. Amit Reem, an archaeologist with the IAA, conveyed to Business Insider that there isn't conclusive proof linking the bath beneath the Shimshana's house to the story of John the Baptist. Nevertheless, he believes that the mikveh was likely used by devout Jews in the vicinity. During the excavation, archaeologists found evidence suggesting the significance of rituals at the site. In Jewish law, ceramic implements are considered contaminated after use in religious rites and are typically smashed. Stone counterparts, being impervious, can be reused. Under the Shimshoni residence, relics were discovered, indicating adherence to this practice during the site's use. Another intriguing discovery was that the mikveh had been scorched by fire at some point in its history. The damage raises questions about whether it occurred during the Roman siege of Jerusalem in 70-80 experts, however, have yet to establish the exact timing of this event. In Jewish tradition, a mikveh is a ritual bath with a crucial role in religious ceremonies. Even today, followers of Judaism must immerse themselves in its waters for purification. The mikveh then and now, serves as a purification ritual after specific activities, such as consuming certain kinds of meat. The recent discovery aligns with the specifications laid out in Jewish law for constructing a mikveh. Interestingly, a belief persists that a natural water source, not an artificial one like a tap, should fill the bath. While the Shinchanas haven't identified the original source of the mikveh's water, Tal mentioned it still fills up in the winter, and the family uses a dehumidifier alongside it. This discovery echoes similar findings in recent years. In 2013, archaeologists unearthed a ritual bath, believed to be two millennia old in Jerusalem's Kiryat Menachem neighborhood. In 2014, another mikveh, dating back 1,900 years, was discovered beneath a highway near Jerusalem despite having been vandalized in the 1940s. Despite the damage, the bath, and its antiquated cistern remain captivating relics. For their significant discovery, the Shemchanis were awarded a certification of appreciation. Emit Reem expressed the thrill of finding antiquities under a private home or public building, emphasizing that such discoveries uniquely happen in Israel, and particularly in Jerusalem. Subscribe for more updates.